It's a Tuesday. The opening footage that you saw was from a town called Truckee. I don't know anything about that area other than the fact that it's on the way to Reno. But we did stop by a spot called Jack's Diner, which I saw featured on Triple D. And definitely recommend checking that place out. And I'm currently in my hotel room now at the Pepper Mill Casino and Resort. I decided to take an impromptu trip here with a couple of friends and I'll be checking out on Friday. Primarily playing poker downstairs in the $0, $5 No Limit game. So those of you that are familiar with Reno Poker currently or watch Ben Teacher's Poker Vlog will know that they've eliminated the small blind from the games for the time being. Not sure why they're doing that. Obviously it's COVID related, but not sure how that all makes sense. But just gonna play that game primarily and adjust accordingly, see how the game plays. There's also another poker option nearby. It's called the Atlantis Casino. I wanna say it's about a 10 minute walk. And I know they usually spread a one, two game, maybe also, 2-5 game on occasion so just gonna see how things go here and then potentially make my way there if I want to mix it up but gonna settle in for a bit and then bring you guys some poker all right a couple things to run through before jumping into the hands as noted it's a single blind game and the five dollars comes from the small blind position it's also a timed game so every half hour each player pays five dollars which I prefer over the per hand rate that I'm typically used to and in this first notable spot, I'm in the small blind position that posts the five players in under the gun and low jack limp. High jack raises to 20, and I've got pocket aces. I put in the three bet to 80. The under the gun limper folds, but the low jack and high jack call. Three ways to a flop of king 4 3 with a diamond draw. I decided to see bet it for 140. Low jack calls with very little behind, and the high jack folds. Turn brings the 10 of diamonds, so not the best card, but my opponent doesn't have much left. I bet enough for an all-in. He's only got $9, but only the $5 chips play. That goes in the middle. And we go to a river of a king of spades. I table, and it's no good as he shows ace-jack of diamonds for the flush. Rockets go down in flames. Next spot, we're playing seven-handed, and there are five players that call the five before it gets to me in the small blind with three, four of spades. I check my option, and we go heavily multi-way to a flop that comes all Broadway cards that gives me a flush draw. Action checks through. Turn brings the eight of spades, so I get there. Checks to the hijack who bets 15. Cut off in button fold. I decide to just call this one. Under the gun folds, and the low jack calls. Three ways to a river of a seven of clubs, so the board doesn't change. Good spot to go for value as two pairs and straights are available. I bet 60. Low jack folds, and after some deliberation, hijack puts in the call. I table, and unfortunately is no good as my opponent shows, 5-7 of spades for the slightly higher flush to take it down. This next spot is pretty interesting. There are three limpers before it gets to me in the hijack, and I race a 35 with ace-4 of diamonds. Two players drop out, but the small blind and middle position call. Three ways to a flop that comes all Broadway cards again, this time with a heart flush draw that I don't have. When it checks to me, I decide to see bet range for 85, Small line calls, and the middle position folds. Heads up to a turn of a 10 of hearts. So an interesting card is it completes hearts, but also gives me Broadway. When small line checks, I'm admittedly not sure what to do. Can go for value or try to do so on a blank river. And that's what I end up opting for. Well, the river comes, the ace of spades. So another interesting card is now there's a straight on board. Small line checks with 400 back. And this play shouldn't work that often, but with the presence of hearts and my opponent unlikely to have a flush given how the hand has played out, I just try to get him off a chop. All in. I jam for his 400 effective. And after some tanking, my opponent ends up folding and also shows king four in the process. Fortunate to get this one through. Oh, that was gross, huh? Yeah, that was, 
So gross. Great job. Shortly after another interesting spot comes up, I've got pocket eights in middle position and I raise to 20. Hijack calls and it gets to the small blind who puts in a small three bet to 60. I call and the hijack calls as well. Three ways to a flop of ace five three with two spades and a diamond. Small blind C bet's tiny for $25. When he does this, I'm sensing weakness with a hand like queens or kings. I decide to call and we'll use the info on the turn to determine my next course of action. Hijack calls as well. Continuing three ways to a turn of a three of clubs. Small blind checks this time, and unless he's trapping with aces full, this is a good spot to try and go for it to get him off the aforementioned hands that I put him on. I bet 125. Hijack drops out pretty quickly, and small blind goes in the tank for a while before putting in calling chips. Heads up to a river of a seven of hearts. He checks once more, and it's pretty clear that I'm not gonna take this one down via showdown, so that just leaves one move. I jam for his 400 effective. He goes well into the tank, and after a good minute plus, he lets it go. He later tells me that he had queens. Nice to utilize some aggression in this spot and lock this one up. Thank you. Six hand into this next one. There's a race to 15 from the hijack. I call from the cutoff with pocket fives, and the small blind calls as well. Three ways to a flop of 8-6-4 with two hearts and a diamond. Small blind checks. Hijack C bets small for $10. I call with a gutter and potentially the best hand. The small blind calls as well. Turn brings the deuce of clubs. So I pick up a double gutter. Both players check to me. And I've got a hand that's kind of smack in the middle between wanting to bet for denial or bet as a semi-bluff. A bit unsure of the reason behind betting, I decided to just check. We go to a river of a king of spades. So I don't improve. When the players check to me, I consider turning my hand to a bluff, but I decided to just take my showdown and my opponent's table queen, three, and ace, jack, respectively. My fives are good here. Six handed once again, early position and low jack limp. I've got pocket aces on the button and race of 30. Both limpers call and we go to a flop of 10, five, four rainbow. Both players check to me and I decide to take an unusual approach and check back for a deception and hope to gain value on future streets. Turn brings the 10 of hearts. So not the best card, but can't just assume that they've got trips. When it checks to me, I fire out a small bet for value, 25, early position calls, and the low jack folds. River comes, the deuce of hearts, completing the backdoor flush draw. Early position checks once more. I try to go for some value, hoping maybe he has a hand like 5x or 4x that can call. I bet 50. He doesn't think too long and Let's it go. So play ace is strange here, but take this one down. Continuing with six-handed play, under the gun raises to 15. I call from the cutoff with six, seven of clubs and the small blind calls as well. Three ways to a flop of nine, seven, four with two diamonds and a club. Middle pair with some back doors. Small blind checks, under the gun C bets 25. I call, the small blind folds. Heads up to a turn of a queen of spades. So a better card for my opponent when he checks, I decide to take the green light and bet 60 for protection, primarily against Broadway holdings, and he gets some value against drawing hands. He tanks for a bit and releases his hand. This next hand is perhaps a run good spot of the night. I've got pocket kings in the cutoff and I race to 15. Only the small blind calls and we go heads up to a flop of king jack four with two hearts and a club. So I flop top set on a board that contains some draws. Small blind checks. I bet 15, he puts in the call. Turn brings a queen of spades, so a little concerning as it completes 9-10 and ace-10. And my opponent has admitted that he's new to poker and is not sure what he's doing, so it's hard to put him on a hand. When he checks, just gonna keep betting. I make it 50 and my opponent calls once again. River comes, the eight of diamonds, which doesn't change the board texture. My opponent has 375 back and when he checks to me, I bet 125 and will happily call a shove. After a bit of thinking, he puts in the call. I table and lock it up with top set. Actually, no, I don't as my opponent shows 9, 10 of hearts for the straight. Very fortunate to not double this opponent up. And this next hand, there's a $25 button straddle. Under the gun in middle position call. Gets him in the cutoff with ace, nine of spades and a race to 100. Button straddler folds, small blind folds. And now under the gun jams for 130. Middle position calls and I call for the $30 more. With a dry side pot, the flop comes eight, seven, four. Middle position checks, I check. Turn comes the seven of spades and action checks through again. River comes, the nine of hearts. So I make top pair, 
When middle position checks, I lightly consider a value bet, but my target is a bit unclear. I check and table my hand. Middle position mucks, and the under the gun player that jammed table 6 8 offsuit, so I river him to take this one down. Yeah, man. He's a quiet assassin over there, man. He laughs every once in a while. He looks at you. <laughs> A couple more hands to run through. Under the gun raises to 15. Low jack calls. I call with king jack offsuit from the hijack, and the cutoff calls as well. Multi way to a flop of king three deuce. Checks to the low jack who jams for 105. I call. Cutoff re jams for a little bit more. 130. Gets back to me. I call, and I table my hand. The run out comes queen queen. Low jack mucks, and the cutoff tables. King nine of diamonds. So my hand holds. And take this one down. Last interesting spot, we're playing five handed, and there's a $15 straddle from the cutoff. Folds around to the button who raises to 40. I've got ace jack offsuit in the small blind. Decent three bet candidate. I make a 125. The cutoff straddler calls, and the button calls as well. Three ways to a flop of eight five deuce with two diamonds and a club. So this flop's not me. I check. The cutoff bet's 200. Button folds, and I also can't continue. Cutoff ends up showing 8 4 of diamonds for the flop monster and scoops this one. Alright, just close out the session. Started at 11, finished at 2.30. The poker room actually closes at 2.30 on Tuesday nights. And got in the game for $1,500, a little bit swingy and was down around 500 at my worst point. Took a couple of rough spots, but ultimately battled back and found some run good towards the end and booked a win of 360. Got in the game for 1500, out for 1860. I'll take that for it being the first day here and gonna run it back tomorrow.